Hey, this is Justin, you're watching wingsound.com. I'm gonna show you how to use the trimmer tool in Pro Tools 8. Now the trimmer tool is great because you can trim your audio regions down. Also, if you have a fade, you can extend or shorten that fade. And then with the trimmer tool, there's also a time compression expansion. Now you can stretch out your audio sample to match any time that you have in your grid mode. Slow it down or speed it up. It's really easy to get that time change done real fast. And then you also have loop and you could take a selection of audio, highlight it, and then just loop it all, all the way through your song, whatever you need to do. Check it out. So this is the trimmer tool right here and it has three options, standard, TCE, and loop. So the standard basically allows you to, it shows these little brackets right here and it allows you to trim. All you gotta do is click on it on the end or the beginning of an audio and click and drag. Uh, or it also allows you to expand that audio back. And if you have a fade, it same thing. Allows you to expand or shorten the fade. Okay, and the TCE, the time compression expansion, basically what it does, it allows you to it allows you to time compress and expand the audio so that you can make it faster or slower based on your grid settings so if you click over here by the grid settings you could change the note on how you want the TCE tool to respond so here's what it, the audio sounds like originally and now I'm gonna stretch it out make it slower and you see it process the audio and it makes a new audio file shows up in your regions menu well, I can make it faster it's great if you need to touch up beats here and there you know real quick it just does it really easy and then you have the loop function and the loop you can just click on an area and it'll loop it. Or what you can do is if you have some audio that's chopped up, you can grab that audio. Let's just say I want this, this audio here. Let's just say I want that. So that sounds, that's just that. So what you do is you take the loop and, and wait till it shows a little arrow by the, by the brackets and then just drag it and it repeats it as many times as you drag it. You can always get in touch with Justin at wingsound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at wingsound.com.